Check it out, it's your man Knowledge Born One Half of the Kids in the Hall crew. Shout outs to ProfessU.com. You dig? Top five MCs. Common has to go in there. Common is the reason I started rapping. And I'm I'm just biased. Common has to be in there. Nas has to be in there. He probably was like the most influential on my like actual rap style coming up. Uh, and I just feel like his lyricism is unparalleled. Jay, I will put in there just because he's so cool. He's always been able to project and brand himself in such ways without it being corny or hokey. Like he's really an influencer, but he's also like kind of like a jazz musician with the way he raps. I guess I will put Biggie in there too. You know, rest in peace. I will put Biggie in there because he, to me, was another one of those rappers along with Nas who was kind of like the reason why I started rapping in the first place. And his dexterity and just the ability to mend and bend words and just kind of really just sit there and be fly with it. I'm kind of like a lyricist lyricist, so I, I really dug that. But I also like the fact that you could be fly with it. Definitely put Ice Cube in there. I think Ice Cube doesn't get the credit that he deserves. And it's not just because we out in LA right now. Like I think old school Ice Cube changed the game and like literally lay the blueprint for a lot of the MCs that you, you hear and see now, especially coming out of the West Coast, but his stuff was so vivid, it was political. Like, I like to say, old school Ice Cube was like watching a Spike Lee movie, you know? It was like very raw, but it was real. It was introspective, you know? It, it There was a lot of things that Ice Cube did that were, was ahead of his time. His storytelling ability is very underrated too. And if I had like an honorable mention, I'd put Scarface in there. I think Scarface doesn't get the credit that he deserves at all. Like, he's one of the dopest, you know. I think him and Ice Cube might be tied, kind of, as far as how I see it. 